Michael Jack, 10 out of 25. All right, it's museum time. Oh, we got Mickey Mantle numbered on the back. Little Mick action. Two ninety nine. Little Mickey Mickey Mantle. Car have we gotten cargo in every box? I think we got a four person card coming up. Tiebreaker time. Brooks Robinson. Cal Ripken, and we do. We have a four person card. We have the Astros. The Mets, the Phillies, and the Yankees. I will negate myself from any tiebreakers. This is 81 and 99. Phillies are Darren. He has Trace teams, three. Joe Matos has two teams. And the Mets are Alex with three teams. So this is a coin flip between... This is going to be a coin flip between Alex and Darren, as far as I can see. Yes. All right. Coin flip time. Really is a coin flip. All right. Darren, heads or tails? Darren says heads. It is a head. It is heads. It is heads. So Darren gets that card. We write it down. All right, so that card's going to go to Darren, Nolan Ryan, Roy Halliday, Tom Seaver, and CC Sabathia. It doesn't matter if it hits the box. <laughs> Just as long as it doesn't go on the floor. <laughs> flag on the play. Alex is throwing a flag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, we got a we got a uh, we got a thick card in here. Alright, so you got Buster Posey at a two ninety nine. Danny Heron, Paul Molitor, we got a canvas card of Willie Mays, and we got a Philly. Darren, keeping it real here. Shane Victorino, 45 out of 59, triple relic auto. Shane, who threw a ball to my son this year in spring training. So Darren's two for two. All right, numbered, we've got Josh Hamilton at a 299. Pineda, O'Neill, Price. Ooh, Miguel Cabrera at a 99 for the Tigers. And our auto is 172 at a 299. It's a pitcher. For the Rockies, Drew Pomerantz. And the Rockies go to Darren. Three for three. Can Darren sweep the entire museum box? Can he do it? Can Darren sweep it? The pressure is on. We got a Jacoby Ellsbury at a 199. Drew Stubbs. Josh Hamilton. Matt Holliday. And the hit is for the Yankees. Joe Matos gets some sweet pinstripes to CC Sabathia.
33 out of 50. All right, guys, Thank main event time. Night, and enjoy a new premium McRap for only $2. <laughs> Boo, I only got three of the four hits in a $300 box. They'll probably do both, Alex. All right, let's look at the pregnancy of this box. I would say this is non-pregnant. Fishy, fishy. Oh, but it is pregnant. The cards are over the rim, and we have a sick patch right on top. Sick patch right on the right on the get go. The Wizard of Oz. It even says Wizard of Oz with a crazy patch action. Wizard of Oz for the Cardinals, which is Darren. Big surprise. <laughs> One out of ten jersey number, dude. That's a that's a monster. That's a hundred dollar card, dude. At least. Jersey number, crazy three-color patch, Wizard of Oz. Very nice. Then we've got the Tigers, Casey Crosby. Rated rookie for Nick K. Next, we've got, for the Cleveland Indians, Scott Barnes. My God. Patches in this are sick. Scott Barnes for the Cleveland Indians. It goes to Mike D. We got another crazy patch. Johnny Cueto. Double break in the letters here. Johnny Cueto for the Reds. Josh, 2 out of 25. And we got another Red Sox hit. Adrian Gonzalez, silhouette. Oh, you want to know what? That's not. That's a Dodgers hit, guys. Look what it says. Not the Red Sox. That's a Dodgers hit. Red Sox jersey, Dodgers hit. Adrian Gonzalez, silhouette, another shocker. 21 out of 49. Los Angeles. Another shocker. And we got another Dodgers hit. Jackie Robinson and Duke Snyder. All decade. And that is number 18 out of 99. And then we've got a Tigers hit. Hank Greenberg for Nick K. It's a nice relic. That's 78 out of 99. And then who would get the last hit? Then someone has been getting all the hits all night, and that's Darren. Ryan Howard book out of 99. Let's see what it looks like. Just a white patch. Ryan Howard for the Phillies. And that's the break, guys. We've got two spots left in a best of hockey hit draft. If you're interested, put a one into the room. Let us know. No, I'm I'm bandaged up. One twenty, one nineteen ninety nine. All right, we got one spot left. Let me go get the case. Okay, I'll get them all. So we'll probably go through them. Oh, sorry, kicking cameras.
just saving the videos here. Okay. No worries. Let me get you guys a link for the hockey. Here's the link to pay for hockey. This kind of is Did we fill that last uh, spot in the hockey? Or do we still have one left? Let me tweet this out. It's a draft, Christian. It's random draft order, and then you we open all the cards, and then you draft the hits. If you guys want, we can actually do it backwards, where we open it first, and then do the, do the order. I don't know anything about hockey either, Joe. I swear to you. I mean, I don't know 95% of the players. I swear to you, it's fun. I know nothing about it at all. You want the last spot, Joe? You have time to look all the cards up on eBay before you draft. That's how we did it last time too, and we all talk openly about it in the room. There's not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, secret stuff going on. All right, cool. Sold out. <laughs> We've got multiple Joes in a hockey situation here. No, it's not prospects. It's all like high-end hit cards and sketch cards. All right, do you guys want to, uh, do you guys want to open them before we do the random or do the random first? Sleep good day. 
Like last time, all right, we'll do the random first then. All right, Jail, how many times do you want to run the randomizer, buddy? Three. All right, here we go. Number one. Larry on top, Chris on the bottom. Number two. Joe Yen on top, Chris on the bottom. And here's the one that counts, guys. Good luck. Joe Matos on top. The guy that didn't know hockey. So one goes to Joe Matos. Two to Dale. Three to me. Four to Steph. Five to Joe Yen. Six to Chris. All right, here we go. We'll go with the top case. Welcome, everybody, to Live Case Break. We're doing some late-night best of hockey breaks. We've got Joe Matos with the top spot, Dale with the second pick. I've got the third pick. Steph has the fourth pick. Joe Yen with the fifth pick. And Chris S. with the last pick. Uh, the last pick still could be okay, Chris. Do not. Panic. The last few breaks, I think the worst card we got was a Brett Hull sketch. So still decent cards. Not saying that that happens in every break, but that's the experience we had with the last three cases we opened. Yeah. Whoa, sick. And then we got a redemption. This is ridiculous, guys. Wow. All right, the first card is a Maurice Richard sketch card in full color. Maurice Richard. And the artist is Brian Kong. And then we got a mystery redemption item. Actual item will be revealed when redeemed. So that's a wild card. You could take that. Could be a... Could be crap. Could be great. Who knows? So. The full color sketches are awesome. Also. So far, two good cards, guys. See what the other boxes have. Whoa, cool. Well, I got Steph's pick. I think this guy... No, this guy maybe is a Blackhawk. Yeah, he's a Blackhawk. Never mind. Stan Makita, full color sketch. It looks pretty awesome. It's got one of one written on it. It's got all kinds of outlines. I think that's so cool. Beautiful, beautiful sketch. And that's one of one. And then we got a Ryan Nugent Hopkins Upper Deck Young Guns card. Gem Mint 9.5. I had a stamp close to this sold for over 100 bucks. So it's four good cards, guys. Four very good cards. The two sketches are awesome, awesome. Stan Makita is really cool. Oh, the, sorry about that. Artist on the stand, Makita, is Michelle Rayner. LCB's own Michelle Rayner. And then we got... Oh, wow. Nice auto. So we got six good cards. I've even heard of the sketch. The sketch is Joe Sakic. One of one, and that is by Kevin John. Joe Sackick sketch by Kevin John. And I've even heard of this guy, Mario Lemieux, auto numbered out of 99. Mario Lemieux, 24 out of 99. BGS 9. So I would say we did pretty good in this case. 
got three sketches and three nice cards. Joe, you're up, bud. Let's Google, let's eBay these cards. Looking up the Lemieux now. The Lemieux is a hundred and twenty dollar card on eBay. Graded. Then we got Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins is worth more, I think. Yeah, Nugent Hopkins looks like it's worth slightly more than Lemieux. About, yeah, about the same. Between 80 and 100 bucks. Then you got the mystery card and you got the sketches. No bad picks. The first sketch was this guy. It's a beautiful picture. It's Maurice Richard. Beautiful color sketch. Guys, if you let me take the redemption, I will redeem it online live for you guys. So you can see what it is. <laughs> okay, so Joe is taking the redemption. Do you want to redeem it for you online to see what it is? Well, you probably have the login. I can give you the the code. So let me write that down. Dale, you're up, bud. Yeah, it's Rainer, but she's also a customer of ours. So it's pretty cool. Oh, thanks. All right, Dale, you're up. And use their side -by -side comparison tool. So it was easy. All right, Dale's going to take the Nugent, and I'm going to take the Lemieux. So the, all three slabs are off the board. But if this works for you, then I guess I just don't fit into your family's plans. Enough drama? Oh, yeah, plenty. Get the right car without all the drama. Stuff, you're up. All drive, no drama. Wow, that's sick. So you did well. <laughs> Steph, you got three sketches. You got Maurice Richard, Joe Sackick, and Stan Makita. Joe, are you going to redeem it? I 
I don't think I have a Leaf account. Do you have one, Joe? Let me scratch it up. So scratch it, Joe. You give me a. I'll give you the. I'll give you the code, and then you redeem it. Sign up for a Leaf account. You want me to do it live? I don't know. Let me see if we have an account. Hold on one second. Let me see. But then it will get shipped to me, and then I have to ship it to you. Are you okay with that? It will wind up, I think, getting shipped to us. And then I have to ship it to you. If you're cool with that, I'll do it right now. All right. Let me see if I can figure out our leaf password. In the meantime, finish the draft. What is the website? Redeemleaf.com. All right, guys, here we go. Are you guys ready? Trying to get both things on at one time. Is everybody ready? Because I can't redeem it and watch the chat. All right, is everybody ready? Everybody is ready? Joe, are you ready? Okay, here we go, buddy. Taking the camera off the tripod. I have not done this in quite some time. All right, here we go. Let me just make sure I have the camera. No, see, I'm not on it good. Hold on. You know, I might be able to do both. All right, ready? Here we go. Let me minimize this. Oh. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go, guys. Okay, of course, the code is not entered correctly. Let me go look at it again. C N I T V F. D O W J four H A H D Y. Ah, there's a character in the front. My bad, guys. One second. Okay, it will work now. Let me make sure I have you guys lined up properly. Okay. Here we go. Leaf has changed the world of redemption cards. Your collection just got a whole lot better.
you have received the 0506 Upper Deck Ice Hockey Sealed Box. I don't know what that's worth, but that's what you got. 0506 Upper Deck Ice Hockey Sealed Box. Oh, sorry. Okay, I can redo it. Here we go. We'll do it again. Five oh six ice hockey upper deck sealed box. All right, so that's what we got here. What happened to my? There we go. All right. My whole situation is screwed up with the camera. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Okay, sketches. Two hundred bucks. That's not bad. Sketches. You got Stan Makita by Michelle Rayner. We've got Maurice Richard by Brian Kong. And we've got Joe Sackick by Kevin John. Steph, you're up. Okay, Steph takes the Makita. Joe, you're up. Sackick or Richard? I'm thinking Richard Kong. That's Richard. Okay. So this one goes to Chris. That's the draft, guys. All right, guys, you want to do another one? Dale's in for another one. We could do two cases. Sorry, Chris. Good night, Joe. Yeah, it won't work. You have to do them separate. Well, it is because everybody will have a... You want to just do them three-way between me, you, and Dale? That would be simple. Yeah. Well, not Dale, not if we do it one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But I'd rather do them separate. It's just easier. Okay, Bill's in for one. So we got Steph, Bill, me, Dale. We need two more. Steph is drinking.
Christian's in for one. There's a link to pay. Steph's drinking wine. I can invoice you, Chris. So we're full. Chris is taking the last spot. We are full. Lucky. <laughs> it is fun. I may buy more. I'm so happy because today found my friends with my head. I'm so happy. That's okay. So Guys, here's the link to pay. <laughs> We're doing the other ones. Let me type up the random. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Are you using Jedi mind trick on me? I mean, the good thing about these is you can't get skunked. You cannot get completely skunked in this. That's good, though. Right, guys, I'm gonna do this one next. Steph, pick the random. I'm so Six. Happy. One. Two. Three. Four, five, here we go, the final one, number six, Christian with the first pick, Bill second, I am third once again. Fourth is Chris, five is Steph, six Dale. All right, let's see what we get. <laughs> All right, box numero uno.
too late, no returns. All right, we're starting off with a pretty cool card. Hope it's autographed. First, we've got a Jean Beliveau. Jean Beliveau by Kevin John. Jean Beliveau. And we got an Alex Ovechkin Ultra Rookie Gem Mint 10. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what that's worth, but pretty neat. Is that worth a lot of money? <laughs> is that card a lot? Ovechkin? The Belovo is really good? Oh, wow, that's cool. Evgeny Malkin. Oh, wow, we got an old card, though. Evgeny Malkin. Full color sketch by Brian Kong. And then we got a 1971 OPG Bobby Orr. Near Mint 8. See what the third box has. This is a call it drop. If that was the case, Steph, you get the whole case. Stamkos. That's really a good drawing. Stamkos. Look at how good the drawing is. Oh, wow, that's nice. We got a scam coast by Jay Pangan. Pangan. And then we got a Mario Lemieux Authentic Autograph Leaf, 93.94, mid-9. Out of 2,000. I don't think any of these are really big money. Yeah, this is not good, but that means the other one's going to be good. <laughs> Christian, go ahead and do your research, and then you're up. Not worth a lot. Oh, God. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just emailing this stuff. The ore is 71 OPT. PSA 8. We've got Christian and Bill. With juicy, crispy, or grilled chicken breast, and fresh veggies like crisp lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and tasty sauces, all wrapped up in a warm flour tortilla to go. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Thank you. 
Okay, what happened? Okay, Christian took the ore. Bill took the Ovechkin. I'll take the Lemieux. Second Lemieux of the night. Sketches are four, five, and six again. So Christian took ore. Bill took Ovechkin. Staff, you're up. Three sketches. Oh, Chris is up. You got Stamco sketch, Malkin, and Bellavo. No. Chris is up. That's beautiful also. Not of this. I just had the one more case. I have single boxes of other stuff, but not of this. Yeah, I can I got a uh, I've got Tier 1 2011. I've got Ultimate. I've got Absolute Football. I've got... I can open a case of a new playbook for you. The artist on Stamp Coast is Pan Gan. P-A-N-G-A-N. J. Pan Gan. All right, Chris is taking Stamkos. Staff, Malkin or Bellavo? Color, so Malkin. Yeah, All right, guys, we're filling the last one. Color, it is. <laughs> Last one, guys. Who's in? I got Dale, Steph, Chris, and me. There's two spots left. All right, Dale's taking two. There's one left. <laughs> All right, Christian. Who's taking the last one? Let me fix our Pandora and start typing this up. Joe Miller taking the last one.
All right, here we go. Here's the link to pay. If you get five and six, it will suck. <laughs> I'll let you pick the random so it'll be to your by your own hand. If my pick is not number one or two, if I have three or four and you get five or six, I will trade you my pick for five. I will do that for you. How is that? One or two, I'm not trading you. If I get three or four and you get five and six, I will trade you my pick for five. <laughs> and guys, I think this is a, this is it for the night. <laughs> no way, sissy. <laughs> No, the funny part is going to be when I smoke him next year in Vegas. It's going to be hilarious. Dale, I will tell you, since I've gotten back, I've been in the gym every other day, literally. I'm going to train three times a week till next Vegas trip. You might go five steps. <laughs> you might go five steps now. Joe paid first. He gets to pick the random. No, let Dale pick the random, though, by his own hand. Dale, you'll pay whatever. Hold on. There it is. All right. Dale, how many times? You want Joe to pick it? Joe, how many times do you want to run the random? Six times. Here we go. Number one. Dale on top. See, that's how you want it to end. Two. Three, four, five, and number six. Here we go. I got the first pick. <laughs> Joe got the second pick. Dale with the third pick. Steph with the fourth pick. Chris with the fifth pick. And Dale with the sixth pick. Dale was number one and two in two of the six randoms. All right, let's see what we wind up with. It could be six commons, so let's see. Yeah, the random was not kind to you. <laughs> they just became worth a lot of money. The colored sketches sell for decent money. First sketch is not colored. Oh, wow, we got a good auto, though. The first sketch is Gordy Howe, though. Not colored, but it is Gordy Howe. Pretty cool. And that's by Kevin John. 
But the auto is really nice. The auto is from Upper Deck Sweet Shot 8.5, Sidney Crosby. Cindy Crosby. Oh, wow. It's like a comic book. This is cool. Dickie Moore. And we got this other card already. We know what it's worth. This is a really cool drawing. I don't know who he is, but he's Dickie Moore. Great drawing, though. By Brian Kong. Dickie Moore. <laughs> and then we got the same Nugent Hopkins Young Guns 9.5. Hold on one second. Brief timeout to check some of this. I didn't get it, Dale. All right, last box. So far, unless that Crosby is worth a lot of money, there is not really a, a superstar hit in this. All right, it's fine, Dale. I'm not worried. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, well, the hit card is Tyler Seguin, who I have never heard of. For the Boston Bruins, Tyler Seguin. I don't know who he is. I'll have to look him up. And the sketch is awesome. The sketch is Lord Stanley. <laughs> Full color sketch. That's by Jay Pangan. All right, time to do some research. Seguin is worth about 70 something dollars. Not so impressive. But raw, it's worth like 80 bucks. Tyler Seguin sometimes sells for more money. It's a very mixed bag on him. About a hundred dollars. Let's see what the Sydney Crosby, what the deal is with this. 2006 Sweet Shot. Yeah, this Sidney Crosby is not not good. They're all about a hundred bucks. Seguin was 9.5, and so was Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins has a 10 sub in centering.
The Brian Kong ones get decent money. What's up, Christian? I'm not taking a Sidney Crosby. It's between these two. Very tough choice. Yeah, I'm going to take the Seguin with the first pick. I'm going to take Tyler Seguin first. Joe, you're up, buddy. I'm 
I took the Tyler Seguin. The Crosby was an 8.5. But it's on card. Okay. Dale is taking, I would imagine, the Crosby. But he may not take something else. I seem to recognize your face. No, you're next, Dale. I can't seem to place it. Can I find the candle of thought? Yes. Light your yes. name. Lifetimes are catching up <laughs> with me. All these changes take place. I wish I'd see the place. He was going to take the how, but he wants you to get it. Chris, you're up. Do you want Dickie Moore or Lord Stanley? I would imagine you're going to take Dickie Moore color. I mean, the Lord Stanley color. Okay. So Dale gets Dickie Moore. You and Dale can fight over who gets what of the two cards. <laughs> Do you really want the Stanley? So no, no, no. Seriously, you want that instead of the How sketch? Really? Okay. I'm sure Chris is very happy with that. Okay, you got it. Dale, do you want the how? Wait, then go back. Dale, would you rather have the how instead of the... Dale, would you rather have the how instead of the Crosby? You want Crosby. Okay, so Chris, you're going to get how, right? Chris wound up getting like the third pick at the fifth pick. Chris, you want the how? Maybe it's good. All right, you got the Gordy Howe then, bud. That's a much better pick. You'll probably be able to get your money back with that one. Or close. It's the best fifth pick. No, you got a, you got a black and white, dude. But it's a nice black and white. All right, guys. I think I'm calling it. <laughs> no. Steph, what do you want to do? What, what break do you want next? What do you want to do? I've got playbook. I've got, no, oh, what else do I have?
I've got Valor. If Joe's in here, I know he wants baseball. All right, Joe, I'll do baseball. I'll do a baseball mixer. Let me put together something. Hold the phone. I'll do one baseball division. Let's see what we got around here. I guess it was a decent amount of hit. What about that? We could do a hit drop. You want to do a hit drop? But I don't know exactly how many hits there are. That's the problem. Figure two, three, and we are all, what is it, eight cards in here? Eight. So eight, three, and two is 13. Tier one, which has been hot all night. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> All right, this is going to be one thirtieth division. You got one legendary cuts, one tier one, and one museum. Thirteen hits. Uh, I don't want to do a. I'm exhausted. Stuff. I can't do a team drop. You guys want to do a hit drop? We can do that. It should be enough for two rounds. You got definitely two hits, three hits, eight hits. So we got thirteen hits. The last pick can get the last card. You guys want to do a hit drop? Yeah, random divisions is better. We could draft divisions. How's that? Compromise. What about drafting divisions?
Okay, we'll draft divisions. Joe's in. Steph's in. I'll be in. That's fine. We need one more. Steph is taking two. Okay, we're full. Let me get you guys a link. Which I'm sure Tim does not have a link for 130 bucks. No, of course not. All right, guys, give me a second to make. Wait, one. No, it doesn't even divide you. Though. All right, give me a second to make a link, guys. I will be back in a second. Okay, no problem. Link should be published in a second. It's going to be uh, custom order 20. the link to pay. Christian's first, he gets to pick the random. Lots of bad words. It's 
Steph, Christian was in already. Do you want to still? Boobies. I am in, yes. I have you for two. Or otherwise, we can wait to fill it. Hey, Christian, how many times do you want to win on this, buddy? It is your hand that will decide the fate. times. Steph, you don't want a second. I can wait to see if someone will fill it. Maybe you can con Dale into taking it. Here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. Dale, do you want a spot? It's one more random. This is not gonna, it's one more. Do you want Steph's other spot? I don't know how to differentiate them though. Do you guys mind if we do it over? She'll sell it to you. Can I random four more times? I have to start over though. All right, let's do it over. Do you guys want to see what would have happened? Let's see what would have happened. Ready? This doesn't count, but let's see what would have happened. We're going to do it over. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody's fine doing it over now. All right. You are in. I met Joey. I wrote it wrong. I played. I'm sleepy. I did. I screwed up. No, she didn't pay yet. Pay me. She's on invoice. All right, here we go. Four times. One. Two. Three. And four. Joe E with the top spot. So I'm guessing he's taking the Yankees. AL East, Joe, or NL East? <laughs> Just Google it. Joe, yeah, you want the NL West. It's not that hard. But you're good in this. They are not necessarily, you might get the Phillies anyways. I think you might get them. Stab is going to be the AL Central. Dodgers Giants, dude. Put it this way, if you don't take NL West, I will. Joe, are you taking AL East, brother? Okay. Steph, you're up. AL Central, AL West, or NL West? 
what's mine is ours. It doesn't remind me of him and me. I think that means AL Central, but I'm not sure. She wants her Tigers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dale, you're up, bud. AL West or NL West? AL East and AL Central are gone. You can have you can have AL NL East, NL West, AL West, or NL Central. The whole NL is available. I'll take AL West. Darren, are you taking NL East? I didn't screw you. If you want AOS, you can have it. You can trade my spot. I swear to you, I didn't. I'm indifferent to each one. The Dodgers are like the second best team. What's left is the NL Central and the NL East. There's no bad division in Nashville players anyway. Dale, at any time until I open the first box, you can trade me. I have no problem. Yeah, you have until until the break starts to take my spot. Do you guys want to trade individual teams? It sounds like everybody got the team they want for the most part. I guess Christian might want to trade for the D backs. Dale, do you want to trade D backs to Christian? Christian has the Christian has the NL middle. I don't think he's doing that. <laughs> All right, so we're starting. You guys ready? Pirates. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Welcome everybody to Live Case Break. We're doing a three box divisional mixer. We've got Joe E with the AL East, Steph with the AL Central, 
Dale with the NL West minus the D-backs plus the Pirates. I've got the AL West. Darren has the NL East. And Christian has the NL Central minus the Pirates plus the D-backs. Regardless of what Steph says, this is going to be the last break of the night because I am falling asleep. <laughs> and I have work tomorrow. And I can't open boxes anymore. I am just... All right, I'll run it back one more. Then I really am going to bed. We'll run back this one more time. And then I'm going to bed. No, I can't. I have no more natural treasures. I could do it with museum collection. We could do it with museum collection. It'll be a little bit cheaper. <laughs> I've got plenty of playbook. I'm happy to do playbook by divisions at cost. Same way we did Valor. If you guys want to do playbook. But most of these guys are not football people. These are baseball people in the house. <laughs> oh, All right. First hit, AL Central, Harmon Killebrew. Stitch in time for Steph. Zachary Taylor at a 550, historic or whatever. <laughs> Somebody wants that card, let me know. You got an Al K line for the Tigers at a 125 dual relic. So Steph picks up the first two hits. She knew what she was doing in her drunkenness. Third hit, Yogi Berra, bonus hit for the Yanks. Joe picks up the Yogi Berra. Three hits in that box. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Here's a pack of tier one that feels thick, but it's actually just an old pack of tier one. All right, we got a Ryan Howard at a 199. Walter Johnson, Nolan Ryan, Justin Verlander. First auto is for the Blue Jays, Adam Lynn. That goes to Joe E. And we got, wow, nice auto for Steph. Chris Sale for the White Sox. Beautiful. Steph on fire. And then we got a Reggie Jackson for Joe E. 224 out of 399. And now it's main event time. Will the pack be pregnant? That is the main question. There's no pregnancy. It's almost reverse pregnancy here, I think. No, no pregnancy here. All right. First hit is Adrian Beltre for the Rangers. 21 out of 99. The next hit for the Blue Jays, AL East, Anthony Ghost. Next hit, NL Central, and it's a nice one. The mustached man, Raleigh Fingers. That goes to Christian. Three color. That's 19 out of 25. Nice hit for Christian. Raleigh Fingers. Then we got another one for Christian. Stan the man usual. Fat card. 17 out of 99. 
Then we got one for Dale. Jackie Robinson. 84 out of 99. And apparently this was the Blue Jays box. Wow, next one's nice. Joey Bats. Joe made a good first round pick. That's 9 out of 25. And then right after it, another AL East hit. Sick Matt Moore. Number relic. 24 out of 99. So AL East killed it in that. And then the book is for Dale. Tim Lincecum, the freak. So, Dale, I think NL West got completely, AL West got skunked. <laughs> I told you. It did get center in the room. It's not center on your screen, but it's center in the room. No, I did get an Adrian Beltre relic. All right, I'll put one more together if you go. Oh, Steph's out, so we won't be able to fill. Let's try. If I do museum instead of NT, are we done, or do you want to do one more? I don't have any more NT to do it with. All right, and we're done. I gotta go to bed anyways. It's one thirty. All right, cool. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Tim's breaking tomorrow. Everybody have a great night's sleep. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.